Welcome to Gray Overload. We're going to go through a BIOS upgrade on the Gigabyte boards. Now, I'm already booted into BIOS here, but what you will need to do first is go to the Gigabyte website, the support site, um, and search for your motherboard and correct uh, revision. And when you pull that up, you'll be able to access the BIOS files from there. They have uh, a BIOS section underneath downloads. They have drivers and BIOS. And you can download whatever version you want. We're going to be upgrading this Z690 Aorus Elite AX board. It's a Rev 1.4 and it's FD30. We're going to be upgrading to on this. I just released it, but all the other boards, Gigabyte boards, should be kind of close to this. If Gigabyte changes it a lot, I'll do another video updating it as long as I have a newer Gigabyte board to try it on. But once you've downloaded that file, it'll be in a zip. I extract the zip. I then take the BIOS file, which is called something like, uh, like this one, Z690 uh, Aorus Elite AX dot F30D. And that dot F30D is the version that you are using of this file. And they, they've been pretty good about using the motherboard name for the first part of the file. You just copy that over to a flash drive, a USB drive, and th then from there, you boot into BIOS. Now when you restart from Windows, you smash that button or you start up a computer, you smash that delete key so that you can get to a screen that looks like this. From there, you're gonna select QFlash. So you know, look like a screen like this and you notice that the last BIOS on here is F29 and the BIOS date is 1214 and they should actually be doing validation on this as well um, to make sure you have the right BIOS file but from there you click on update BIOS and you'll notice it has a whole bunch of stuff and it should have right here it is the right drive so like if you need to you select the right drive and here it says USB disk and you notice I have a lot of BIOS files on here and you probably won't but there's a lot of different computers I take care of, or a lot of computer different computers in the house and there's different um, computers I do work on so I keep usually a USB drive and I just keep throwing BIOS files on it until it runs out of space and then I start deleting them. But you'll notice here there's some other AORIS boards on there. Here's the old one that I did put on F29 and now you'll notice that there's Z690 AORIS F30D. So you can select that file then you go and you hit the next button there and it says are you sure that you want to upgrade or are you sure you want to update BIOS and I want yes. Now this is going to have some fixes from uh, Gigabyte and uh, one microcode fix from Intel on <laughs> what they're dealing with. Not the official fix from Intel yet, but um, with the Intel baseline. Um, and I, I wanted to get the, not that I need it because this is a 12th gen, but um, I did want to update this just just for uh, making sure I do it and somebody did ask me for a video on this so now that we've gotten through there it validates the file and you can see it's for the model number and so they both match right just a different version file the version BIOS date is uh, recent and there is a checksum here so you can actually verify the checksum if need be uh, and then you press start and then you can read the warning now, yes, this system will shut down, and it should bring you back to um, the BIOS screen when done, if I remember correctly. But we'll see. No, no screen right now while it's deciding to upgrade. And this is this is what you should expect. And it's going to take some time. Be patient. Make sure that uh, you don't unplug it. Don't press the power button. Don't restart it. Don't do <laughs> any of that sort of thing that could interrupt this because that's never a good result. I don't even, the USB drive will just stay there and I will not uh, go and try to mess with the computer at all because I don't want any problems. And you'll get to a screen like this and then it'll start the upgrade process. And so it's rebooted into its kind of the flash sequence and 
it's now updating the BIOS. It's not exactly a fast process, but I'd rather it be reliable than fast. That's where this, uh, you want to have a good process here because if the motherboard breaks, you're, you're in uh, dire straits, right? So I've been there with a bad BIOS update way back when. Um, I don't want to say how many years, but it's <laughs> over a decade ago. Uh, it's been, wow, it's, yeah. You start thinking back to when I first started building computers and it's 20 years now, so uh, over 20 years. And you're like, that's when things, when I broke things back then. So it's been really reliable. I like going through, um, I like to get the BIOS that are basically the full versions. Not like the F30Ds, but like the F29s, the F30s, or F31. Um, usually they have like an A, B, D, or a letter at the end of it. It's usually still getting finalized. But um, in this instance, I needed, I needed a, a BIOS file to update on a computer that was readily accessible. So um, we're doing this one. That's how it kind of came to be. But even in, let me just read. <clears throat> let me just read this. Yeah, they have the, um, excuse me, they have the checksum on the description, the introduction of Intel default settings. That's right, they're not calling it baseline, they're calling it Intel default settings. And then they're upgrading this microcode for the ETVB operation. Um, but uh, here we are. There's nothing about it's just a you know a release, so we'll see. Sometimes they rename this to F30 later on. But now you're going to get a reboot here as soon as it finishes, and you can press the button or it'll do it automatically. You go to a blank screen here, and we'll see. It, it can take some time. Um, I think on like the AMD ones, I think it can do some retraining again on memory. So if you're upgrading an AMD board um, like AM5, that can take some time. And just be patient. Um, in these operations, patience is something that you need. Don't be, I don't mean I need to get this done ASAP. So um, it should come back here in a second. Um, I'm watching the fan. It's, it's this is computer sitting on the other side of my desk, so I don't want to walk over there and it start up and all of a sudden I'm missing it. But yeah, here it starts back up, and it, you know it has to go through checks and everything else. Verify it is all um, it did everything properly, which I appreciate. But we should see something here soon this do, and this computer doesn't have a GPU in it so this is all plugged directly in the motherboard but it shouldn't be any different if you have a GPU um, I want to mention that um, if you do have issues where sometimes the GPU doesn't work well well in BIOS or for whatever reason I've seen that in rare cases, but just plug it in the back of the motherboard, especially if your CPU has a, um, plug it in the back of the motherboard if your CPU has a um, integrated graphics, because that's an easy way to do this as well. But here it is, it's, so it does a couple of reboots, or a couple things during its reboots. The fans have stopped, turned back on, stopped, turned back on. That's pretty normal depends upon who the manufacturers of the computer they do different operations normally but this is uh, this is what gigabyte is doing so as long as it works we are all happy at the end but we'll see here it's still going through stuff still waiting still waiting I would also say another thing is just don't be afraid about this either. Um, being afraid about the BIOS update, the, like anything, there could be a problem. But overall, it's to me, it's been just something I just do. I check them 
normally once a month and do a BIOS update. Um, but if you do break something, I'm not responsible. Uh, that's Gigabyte or <laughs> whoever your motherboard manufacturer is. And we've seen the screen a couple times here. I guess it's booting right into Windows, which I didn't want it to do. Sometimes it comes up and it doesn't do that. Um, but so it does this sometimes when you reset the pin, set up my pin. I'll have to blur out all my kids account, my wife's account, my account here, but let's just restart this. And one thing I like to do when it's all done is, and ignore, I guess ignore the pin stuff because it could just be my kids haven't, they've been playing outside lately. They haven't been going on the computer. So I'm trying to remember the last time they logged onto the computer. It's been a while. It's summertime and they're out doing stuff. So I'll, you can kind of ignore that. But one thing I like to do once you get the upgrade, make sure it's F30D, right? You can see here it's got microcode and everything. But what I wanted to do is make sure that the XMP profile, um, wait, wrong one. I want to enable this. So yeah, XMP one, this should be enabled. And I want to save and exit from this. So when you upgrade BIOS, a lot of your settings will be reset. And well, all of your settings, I believe some companies are trying to save some settings now, but just set XMP was on before. It's not on now, as you can see, it's 4,800, not 5,200, as we saw in the initial screen. So from there, this is, you know, where we're at and we'll have there's Q flash here too if you want to if you're on the easy mode side just type in Q flash but that you save and exit this and then we'll save it yes we'll go back in again to verify but if you have any you know customized settings that you've customized you'll have to re-enter in those values and um, set that all up again but once it turns on that memory, it should, it'll be back on here. It's taking its time. There we go. It should be. And then there we go. And 5200, that's all set up now. So. That's the upgrade process. Um, leave it in the comments below if you have any questions on this. Um, if you run into any problems or anything, be sure to uh, reach out to Gigabyte because they, their you know service department should be able to help you. But uh, you know this is something I've been doing for on all the boards and stuff, especially with all the security updates uh, or security problems, you know, bios that people have done and. If you have an Intel board, Intel's or an Intel 13th or 14th gen, I should say, they're going to be coming out with stuff there as well to update, probably through BIOS to upgrade the microcode of these processors, having that um, microcode issue that Intel claims is the problem. So that would be what everyone's going to have to be doing here. But this is the upgrade process. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll be sure to try to help them out, or if not me, hopefully somebody else. But until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching Gravel and helping this channel grow. I really do appreciate it. And, and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit another one, or watch another one of my videos. Hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. And until next time, God bless.